So yes, finally, finally, finally. So of course I'm back in already quick, of course. Of course, of course, poggers. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, uh, Pokemon Adherence with these, of course, though. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started then. That's all not. For a second. Okay, it's fine, everything's fine. A little, a little lag, because before it always starts, it always messes up doing stuff like that, of course. But yeah, let's go ahead and get started though, of course. Um a new episode review, new stuff, of course. Um again, very simple, very easy episode. It kinda of cuts away a lot, and I kinda of saw a little bit of it, and I was like I hate some of the kind of ways. Well, this last episode, the first part good. Thank you, card side. Uh, first part was good. Second part kind of sucked. Again, it's because this character was a whole day to fight, even though they shown before. That, excuse me. They shown before that they can legit make a whole episode with the fights, which should have been the case the first time. But nope, they're like, yeah, we're just gonna skip it. Maybe they just didn't have enough budget at the time, even though Cynthia part like two parts. So yeah, of course. Um, again, just really, really. Both of dis disappointed from the last episode, right? Of course, Ash uh, really pretty much begins the battle with, of course, um, Cynthia and everything, of course, Ghost turned him on, everything, of course, though, then, of course, Cynthia and Death have a pretty much, I guess, talk and everything about, like, the match and everything pretty much coming up, though. But yeah, of course, again, some of the. Like, I'm not great about Death is, like, yeah, like, she legit is really hot. Her and Cynthia are just. Oof, I don't care if I say about Death, but she. Her and Cynthia are hot. I don't care if I say I can say that with full confidence, I'm mean, okay. Uh, but yeah, of course, you can see um, Oak, everybody pretty much turning Ash on there for me. Of course, though, I like it. I was, I was, I was hoping on there to go win. Uh, again, this is going to be a tough match for Ash, because, again, this is a match we've been waiting for for years now, and it's utterly insane how it's like, this is built up to this moment. Literally from the center all the way down. About eight, probably like, what, ten years now at this point? So yeah, it's been a long, good time though. So, of course, we got um, Hoppin', of course, go cheering him on. But like, everybody in the stands pretty much watching and everything. Of course, we got Leon to Anthony in the background, of course. Uh, chapter episode, though, of course, the Rockets coming in, introducing themselves, everything, of course. You get crazy much about it beginning, though, so of course, they're ready to call the Pokemon. Again, typical, typical stuff, ready to call the Pokemon, ready to get the battle starting, everything, of course. Of course, I'll spirit tune, oh, Cindy, because I'll spirit tune, okay. Um, pretty much her, you know, her first Pokemon, like, from Sinnoh, and stuff like that. Like, you know, Gartos could be a lot of Pokemon. She goes over with spirit tune with her head, so I think I'm amazing speed on it, though, so of course, that's about to begin, everybody's about to go on again. Spirit tune is, um, I said spirit sack, um, is in the same Pokemon though, so of course I just can wait to get up out and go into this and stuff like that, of course. Uh, okay, still going, making sure. But yeah, of course, Dragonite just gets slammed down though against the Ghost type though, so it makes sense. Um, but yeah though, um, for Dragonite gets the idea to use pretty much air, um, I just for Dragonite gets the idea to use more of an aerial attack with um, Dragon Meteor. It hits, but it doesn't, it doesn't really do anything though, of course, Spiritomb uses, I think, Sleep Talk? Or just Yawn? So it can, um, it can pass any Dragonite, and of course, Dragonite falls asleep. And does it get one shot? Does it get one shot? I can't even tell. Yeah, because everybody's just waiting and stuff like that. Of course, Spirit Tomb literally just taunts the Dragonite. Does it get one shot? I can't even tell. Oh, dang. Yeah, it gets rid of one shot. Yeah, I can see the edge being the champion as I know. Definitely doesn't make sense. But yeah, dang. That's crazy. Hurdle just gets obliterated, though, of course. Dang, like, just right off the bat, though, because I was about to edge my with that. And the goes as well. That's just messed up. Like, already, yeah, she's getting one shot. That's insane. Really but yeah, um, of course, uh, well, I mean, yeah, everybody just pretty much kind of having a little more to Dragonite. So they call about Spirit Tomb, of course, because that was in crazy speed and everything. Oh, let's see if this works. Chaos Control! Awesome, and pretty much just pulls on through. Again, they just want to put my back and forth. Roselia versus our Rose Raid line. I say that. With Gengar, of course, I guess that's trying to use Gengar's speed again, like he always does. Pulls out a Shadow Ball. What was it? Pulls out what? Like a. Is it Leak Storm? And of course, Gengar Speed, you really can't reach it though, so yeah, it's good. Of course, use that video, use Willow West, beautiful animation right there. Of course, everybody's like, oh my gosh! <laughs> but yeah, then of course, Dang Rosa just gets obliterated too though. And then of course, you know, like Ash is just barely even making surf. Like, she's just keeps calling back and Pokemon over and over and over again. And of course, Ash is just like, you know, just running back and forth too. Like, again, it's just, just simply just, again, try, I feel like trying to try, try, uh, learn Ash's strategy pretty much to get, like, the idea of his battling style, his new battling not really new, but his battling style. Again, she's swapping Pokemon back and forth and back and forth. Which, again, not as more, not, not a bad idea, but it's like, I just see, but I think you'll see the other She is at a big risk because the boy she puts her Pokemon, which is putting her cards, but she's also supposed to exposing Ash's cards. This Pokemon down, getting it weaker and stuff like that for all for time, so she can just basically one-drop them pretty much. Of course, Ash, of course, she calls back out Spirit Tune, of course, again, just, just really trying to figure out Ash's battling style pretty much. Just trying to, like, you know, fall back and forth. Of course, um, Gengar gets beaten down too as well, though, and of course, yeah, then of course Ash don't try to counterattack and roll back. Of course, Gengar gets shot down and Spiritomb as well, though, so both pretty much 
they were still just going back and forth, pretty much tying each other, pretty much. I, I just kind of wanted to see level as well, back and forth. Of course, Gengar gets down in B2, though. Damn, you know, that's too much Pokemon go down. That's insane. Probably to the next episodes, going up to the next hype, though. Of course, again, I should just, um, like I said, I feel like Cynthia's strategy is to figure out his balance style, how he, like, his uniqueness comes out and everything. I feel like Cynthia's really pushing himself to, uh, pushing him to the limit, which makes sense again like that. But she's also exposing her cards, like, she's putting all the fucking, all Pokemon is being exposed and there's a big high risk, high reward thing, like, she's supposed to, she's pretty much exposing some of her Pokemon, because that could also, you back at your corner, he can basically come, come back. Be down anything. Of course, Team Rocket's turning them on and everything, of course, and everybody else. I guess she's losing life for Rebel Sith is also kind of slowly bring her cards in deck. And again, as can kind of build on, on that strategy and kind of use it to the advantage to not getting really, really fast. Besides Cynthia, though, she's a tough cookie, though, so it makes sense. Again, the game's too, her spirit to is insane as well. Um, of course, Ash goes and calling out next Pokemon. Well, I didn't get to kiss. That was a pretty fast one, though. I think it comes up with you here. He might though, of course everybody's still strategy on Glash might do it though, because again, Cynthia is tough, he, she, he, she ain't holding back anything though, of course, yeah, I just called Pikachu, good idea, it's flying type. Uh, it's flying in fairy though, I believe now. Oh, man, this can be a bad choice. Of course, Pikachu comes in and stuff like that, of course, trying to change the battlefield a little bit though, get some more playful, can I say playful strategies? Uh, strategizing more of his plan out and everything, of course, though. Nobody else does, okay, it's all right, um, I gotta make sure, if something doesn't mess up, though. if it messes up, then I don't care. Pikachu goes under a strong wield of Thunderbolt. Pikachu just gets kind of worn down with one hit with Tucker Kiss, like I said. Everybody just falling back and forth, being super aesthetic and aroused by it, though, stuff like that, of course. And of course, um, you know, Leon's pretty much like, yeah, nice play and everything, of course. Uh, then, of course, Link Cynthia just swaps out again for her Gastrodon. But again, she's swapping back and forth and stuff like that, though, of course, like, just flip flop, flopping, getting flipping, though, and stuff like that, of course, though, so, yeah. Uh, what else? Yeah, Ash is just like, doesn't care. He's just gonna keep going on powering through it, though, of course. Um, yeah, he's just, yeah, Ash is just full on powering through everything. And of course, um, you'll sit there and Pokemon both in sinking one. Of course, Ash is still, still just trying to go back and forth, trying to figure out a good strategy. But yes, though, of course, I'm finally back. I have no idea where I left off on. But yeah, I got Sean Pretty Pretty just full on charging. Just again, Cynthia's not holding it against Ash. Not even one little bit. It's utterly, utterly, utterly Christmas right now, so. Sunny skies ahead for this. Yeah, it's just again, just going back and forth left and right though, of course. Ash finally gets some, gets some footing by using quick attack, just to try to um, reflect and just like, you know, going back and forth and back and forth against Cynthia. And it pretty much works though, so yeah, use Pikachu speed, you know, like it always usually works out to his advantage. Yeah, of course, Ash wins and finally, like, you know, so one of the other Pokemon again, that's just one of her Pokemon. She has, like, he still has a spirit turn to go through. And Garchomp. I think she has Lucario. Maybe pretty much her team from the game, pretty much. I know she has, know she has Lucario. Because black and white. She has just so many different Pokemon. It's crazy. I forgot the rest of her Pokemon, though. And of course, you know, Ash finally, just, you know, like just said, just one one, though. Of course, Steven said, yeah, like everybody's just pretty much proud of Ash at this point, though. And it's good, though, because he was struggling the whole episode. He was going through everything, though, so of course, yeah. Then, of course, um, again, now she's back to serious mode. Of course, Spirit is fully out and everything. Of course, Pikachu just, you know, Ash, you know, ain't holding back anything. He's going full power, which is a good idea. All, you know, everything's up though. And of course, I was like, yeah, everybody's like, yeah, like striking pretty much, you know, for a chance you get. Though. And of course, uh, actually, gets, actually gets a strategy, you know, full power, then trap it. Good idea, I like that strategy. Then, of course, right here, of course, Cynthia, you know, plays at the plane of um, her sleeve, though, pretty much. And of course, Spiritum just fought a one shot Pikachu. Again, just, you know, I think Spiritum get knocked out. I think um, Spiritum and Pikachu both get knocked out at the same time. I guess, like, a last resort kind of ditch thing. So yeah, yeah, they beat just a full on knocked out, that's crazy. And of course the episode ends right there though, not a bad episode. Um, I feel like it focused um, so much on um, just cut, like so many cutaways, like you know, it goes back to Ash, and it goes back to everybody. It kind of depends on the episode. The episode wasn't that bad though, and like I said, Cynthia was pretty much uh, howling on Ash the whole time. Which is again, pretty much back into the corner. But again, it makes sense because Cynthia is trying to pretty much put Ash to the corner while she can. But Ash is trying to fight back full power. Again, Dragonite and Gengar already got straight and Pikachu, so he has only three left. Farfetch, Dragonfish, and Lucario. It's kind of messed up though, like already. Like Ash is already down three Pokemon. Of course, next episode, I think, is pretty much the finale beast of Ash vs. Cynthia. Of course, you already know it's going to be Ash vs. Leon at the point. Like, again, we just pretty much already confirmed right there though. But yeah, other craziness, other insaneness. Like, yeah, Ash has got completely destroyed in this episode. Of course, everybody's just, like, it's only just cut with, like, coming back and forth between everybody. I guess they're trying to do so much in one big episode. It's just, you know, full-throwing back and forth. Which is not bad. The episode's pretty alright. Better than the last episode. 
It was great, then it just messed up itself. This episode wasn't that bad. Again, nothing. Chaos Control! But yeah, I have no idea where I left off on, so sorry. Again, I'm fucking fuck, getting back and forth and everything, of course. But yeah, it was always not bad. Again, after the last episode, that was just not really it. I don't know, just I feel like Jared's trying to get his footing back up a little bit because that last episode, everybody slammed her on it. Even, again, the beginning was amazing. The second half was just, oh, so it's fucking wild evolving. They could do that near the end of the episode. Whereas the fight could have been Diantha versus Leon. Seriously, they could do that. It was always not bad either. Again, a lot of just cut away back and forth. Like, oh, we're going to focus on Ash. Um, Ash, you know, anyway, back in Pallet Town, we're gonna focus on Leon and Diantha again, we're gonna focus on Go. Get all the perspectives for that are really good, but just it's, just, it's so, so much waste of a time on that. Like, I mean, the other episodes do that too, but it's like it was just we saw more of a battle than we saw this. Again, a lot of might have got half dip, but we saw a battle. Iris must have got, got beat, Iris got beat, but we saw her battle. We saw Steven versus Ash, that was a really good too. It's just, I don't know, uh, like, this episode was all right, it was, it was good. But just after the last episode, just does not know how to get fucking back on. I'm, I don't know, I just. Oof, I don't care, I'm just, I'm, I'm just glad Journey's almost over. I'm, I'm, I might not even do. I don't know, I'm still debating on doing Journey's. Um, no, I'm still debating on doing Scrolling Violets on episode reviews. Ugh, I do not feel like doing this again. I really do not feel like doing this again. Ugh, I don't know, just because trying to record this video was a process and a half. But yeah. See you guys later, though. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, great day. Get done with choice. Stay safe watching the combos. I'll be willing to help on my maximum. Could be really willing to take a maximum. Any boss, I just want guys to be on your phone. The discourse was super freaking rare. But, so you have to think about this as well, of course, like Jade. Again, not bad episode. Just, I don't know. I just didn't really. It wasn't bad, but it's like, just a lot of just cutaways. And, I don't know. Just, whatever. I just had, just, I don't even, like, just, ugh, I don't know. It was good, but, again, it was great. I liked it. Better than the last episode. But just so much cutaways and stuff like that. Just, but episode was still good. It still has some solid footage, you know. Breaking the last one, we saw some battling, but I feel like we just got so many cutaways and kind of run the flow and the motion. The next one, just do what you do with the long battle. Do 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 what you do with the ice battle. Make it a full episode. I get the chance to tell like Scarlet Violet's anime is probably not done yet, production or whatever wise. But this is not the way to do it. Like this is not the way to do this. I just uh, not. Really. Yeah, probably next episode is another review of the episode, so I don't care. See you guys later, though, okay, no. Peace out.